Wonderers, or should I say, howdy y'all. I'm in Dallas, Texas, and I don't know if it's only a European thing, but when I say I go to Dallas, everybody tells me, say hi to J.R. Ewing. So, especially for the 90s series fans, I'll take you to explore Southport. And then I'll show you other nice places that are my favorites in Dallas. Let's go. Most of you probably have no idea what the series called Dallas was. Honestly, I was not a big fan either. I was just five years old when it was first aired in the Czech Republic. But my parents were watching it and I know the showing time collided with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so... Yeah, I hated JR as anybody else because he was preventing me to watch my show. Funny enough, South Park is not located in Dallas. It's actually 40 kilometers north from Dallas. If you remember the Olympic-sized swimming pool Bobby Ewing was doing his laps in, and um, this is it. Overall, everything seemed a little smaller than on TV. We can see a portrait of Bobby Ewing here. Here's the room where some murder took place. The teenage daughter was named Lucy, I believe. And of course, this is a portrait of the villain of the whole series, J.R. Ewing. Guys, I really don't know much about this series. Also, when the tour guide was asking questions like do you remember what happened in the season 4, episode 325? Everybody was like, yeah, yeah, sure. And I had no clue what they were talking about. We are looking down at Thanksgiving Square. The square is located in the heart of downtown Dallas. You can enter the Thanksgiving Square through Court of All Nations. Its opening hours are quite generous, but be careful if you want to visit the chapel. It is open only from 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. And there might be even some exceptions from that. I was fascinated by the water fountains and the streams that were cooling the area down. The spiral ceiling contains one of the largest horizontally mounted stained glass windows in the world. It was designed by French artist Gabriel Loire in 1976. It contains 73 panels of glass and it follows the spiral shape of the ceiling. The lower panels are all shades of blue, which would represent the color of peace. As the spiral continues inwards and upwards, the colors become warmer and brighter until it reaches the center. If you take a walk around the Jewel Hotel, you might find some incredible art. For example, this 30-foot tall eyeball. <laughs> it's a specific piece of art, but it looks quite impressive. 
The author is Chicago-based multimedia artist Tony Tassel. Before I went to Dallas, I imagined it to be a few cattle farms, a couple of oil rigs here and there, and a lot of cowboys in the big hats. There was none of it. It's a cool, vibrant city that has a lot to offer. And of course, you can't go wrong with Texan food. From amazing barbecue to good old burger. But actually, they have cuisines from all over the world. Being determined to fit in, I purchased myself a cowboy hat. Just to find out I was the only full tourist who was wearing it. Never mind. Just in case Lord of the Rings needed a place to hold a meeting. This is a John F. Kennedy memorial. It was built to remember the assassination of JFK here in Dallas. It happened near Delaney Plaza. JFK was killed on November 22, 1963. He was fatally shot by U.S. Marine Lee Harvey Oswald firing an ambush from a nearby building. There is a symbolic cross on the road where the bullet hit the president. Reunion Tower is the icon of the Dallas, Texas skyline. It has an indoor-outdoor observation desk named GeoDeck and two levels where you can dine or organize events. We're now standing in Pioneer Plaza. It's a large public park and you can find it near the Convention Center District in downtown Dallas. There are 49 bronze statues of the kettle and three riders. They are all created by artist Robert Summers. So I'll wrap our Dallas adventure here. Thank you very much for watching. I will be moving to San Antonio and Houston next. 
So if you want to see more travel vlogs, click subscribe, saddle your favorite horse and let's ride together to sunset. See you soon and bye!